So now we're looking at a final um, comparison method, and this is the approximately method. And what it does is that you can check that the actual or input value is the same as an expected or a benchmark value or within a specific variance. So it's close to it or it's approximately equal. And so we have these um, couple of things here. So we have this benchmark value, which is the expected value. We have the input value, which is the actual value, I guess, in this case. Um, so uh, maybe I'll change this one to input. Um, we also have this variance right here, and that's the third argument it takes in. And the variance is how much above or below the um, benchmark or expected value that our input can be. So I think it works something like this. So it'll take in this input, and then it will set a the lowest value that it's allowed. It will be var the variance takeaway benchmark. So in this case, it'll be 1.5 because it's 2 take away 0 0.5. The highest value that it can be, it will be the variance plus the benchmark. So it'll be 2.5. And then if it checks if the input is greater than the lowest and less than or equal to the highest. So if the input is anywhere between 1.5 and 2.5, this will return true, I guess, and it will pass. Otherwise, it will return false, which means that the input is out of range. And if the input happens to be equal to the benchmark value of 2, this will still hold true because it's above the lowest and below the highest, so it, it will still pass. So if I run this now, we can see that this returned false and this fails because 3 is above the highest value, which is 2.5 here. But if I increase this variance to 1 here, so this means the, the lowest value now becomes 1 because it's 2 take away 1, and the highest value now becomes 3 because it's 2 plus 1. And if we look here, the input is greater than 1, and it's less than or equal to, in this case, equal to the highest value, which is 3. So if I run the test again, we can see that this returned true and all the tests have passed. Um, so obviously the more the lower you make this variance, the more accurate this the, the more you increase your accuracy when you're testing things. So ideally you want to keep this variance low, which which means that you're very close to the answer that you want. So if we look at the test now, so we're on to number 10 now, and here we're not actually changing the test here, we're actually changing the variance value. So we have an input or an actual value, and we have a benchmark or expected value that's calculated here. And we have to change the variance so that the test passes. So let's have a quick look at this weird numbers method. So this weird numbers method, um, it adds whatever number you give it to one, and then it will take away a number from it between um, zero and one. So if we had a uh, 0.5 here, it will do 1 plus 0 0.5, and it will take away a number from this between 0 and 1. So the maximum um, value that this can be is um, when it takes away 0, which is 1.5. And the minimum value that this can be is when it takes away 1, or close to 1, I guess. So it's 0 0.5 here. So it's we know that this, this number here will be, be between 0 0.5 and 1.5. And we have a benchmark value of 1. So if we give this a variance of 0 0.5, we make the lowest value 0 0.5 and the highest value 1.5. So this test should now pass. Here we have 0 0.2. So what this weird numbers function does is it adds 0 0.2 to 1, and then it will take away a number between 0 and 1. And the highest that this weird numbers 0 0.2 can be is when we take away 0, which will be 1.2. And the lowest it can be is when we take away 1, or 0 0.99999, and that'll be 0 0.2 right here. So we have this weird numbers can be between 0 0.2 and 1.2. So the variance we want to give here is, if we have this value of um, 1 here, let's think about um, how far this can vary. So if we were to make this something like 0 0.2, and this turned out to be 0 0.2, one takeaway 0 0.2 will not work here, because this will be below that. So if we give this 0 0.8 here, and we do one takeaway 0 0.8, that's 
0 0.2. So this, this, even if this is at its lowest of 0 0.2, that will be okay. And if we do 1 plus 0 0.8, which is 1.8, this maximum here is 1.2. So that's also okay. So 0 0.8 is the ideal value here so that we can accept all the whole range of whatever this weird number can be. I hope that's okay. If you're confused, just leave a comment and I'll try and explain that. So and that should be it really. So we can copy this and paste it into here and submit it. And yeah, that seems to have worked.